So I just got back from France, spent around three days there. It was a very short trip and a very long trip at the same time. I went over for the Defi Wing, which is part of the Defi Kite Wing and Windsurf event. It's one of the biggest events in the world. While I was there, it was also interesting to check out what's happening with the whole wing foil scene, the downwind scene, um, as it's obviously exploding in Europe at the moment. And to be able to check out all the latest innovations from all the different brands has been so interesting. I'm very excited as I just received my first downwind foil SUP. Thanks to Jan Tamolen, a good friend of mine from Germany. I'll tag him in the description below. Um, he makes custom wing foil boards, custom downwind boards, custom surfboards in Germany. So definitely check him out. He's building some crazy things. And the reason why I'm learning or getting into this downwind foiling is because I have an exciting project coming up, hopefully the end of this year. We're currently planning it at the moment. It's a 250 or so kilometer downwind crossing. I'm not gonna announce where it is yet, but it's uh, yeah coming soon. It's gonna be one crazy experience. If you can guess where I'm gonna be doing this crossing, let me know in the comments. I'll give you two clues. One, it used to be very sharky. And two, it's kind of close to Mauritius. Not that close, but kind of close. So the current weather check is about 25 to 30 knots. It's low tide, pretty much minimal swell. It's not too, too big at the moment. So it's mostly gonna be wind swell, wind chop, um, which I think is good for downwind foiling, at least in the beginning. The sun is shining, the water is going to be blue, it's going to be fun, it's warm, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's -a go! <laughs> so we're going to start from Maconde, and it's probably about 10 kilometers downwind, which I think is a good way to start for the first time on the downwind foil, foil board in SUP. Got three wing foilers as backup, I got Steven, Fabi and Dimitri also joining just in case uh, something happens or I can't start and Dimitri has a phone in case something happens and a tow happens. rope and a tow rope in case something happens you can always either tow me back or call someone and get a boat to pick us up if whatever happens it's always good to have safety when you're out uh, especially in the deep sea alrighty so you guys are heading out on the wings the SUP and the paddle so we're gonna give it a go first time trying this downwind be interesting but very excited I'm a bit nervous it's a long way away it's 10 kilometers so first time going completely outside the reef on an SUP I think it's gonna be a little bit swabbly but excited to give it a go first of many <laughs> always out in front it's extremely low tide a little bit sketchy walking out but yeah giving it a go so Definitely much harder than it looks. Halfway probably. Still haven't really had a long side yet. Just a very short one. It's very hard. Not gonna lie. Woo. Very, very tiring. But fun. Fun to have a new challenge. Dimitri just, uh, Dimitri just towed me out now. So I'm way further out because I was much too close to the reef. So now there's some big bumps. Some big swells, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get up and gliding now. Once I'm up on the foil, I'm pretty confident that I should be uh, should be good enough to, to fly. Yeah, go. Second time I'm trying this uh, setup. Um, last time I got completely defeated. It was a very uh, very humbling moment, struggling for 10 kilometers downwind for two hours, trying to balance on this thing. Um, but I'm giving it another go. Only problem is that the wind is straight offshore, so it's going to be kind of tricky. So there's not much wind. I'm trying it with a wing today, but there's not much wind until outside the reef. And I'm hoping, again, this is a feeling, more of a, an assumption that there'll be wind once I'm out there. So we'll see. I'm going to take a big wing. I'm going to take a five meter, tow it out. And then hopefully once I'm out there, there should be enough to, to get going. But you know, I want to try in all conditions. You never know what conditions you might face. So it's good to train in everything, no matter the wind direction, the wave size. It's always good to just get good at everything because you never know what you might face on a project like the one I have coming up. So not much wind. Busy dragging my wing out here. Trying to get outside the reef. 
um, and then hopefully there'll be enough wind out there. That's uh, where I'm heading there. Alrighty, looks like we found some wind. Woo. Now I have confidence that we're gonna make it home. Woo -hoo. Woo. Oh, so good. Found some wind out here. So for those that are looking to get into downwind sapping and not sure if it's really worth getting such a big board, I can say it's uh, definitely a combo because you can go out in such light wind, it still feels so maneuverable, but then you can also do downwind. So yeah, I must say for wind foiling, I'm really enjoying it. So I always suggest taking a little bit of duct tape as you can always fix your board if you get a hole, you can fix your wing if you get a tear. Take my paddle to the wing so we can wing easier back. I just taped it. This can be a lifesaver, especially on long downwinds. Tape works really well. And the board too in this light wind. The other thing I've always decided to bring with on these downwinders is the camel pack. It's always got water. Found some fellow sailors. <laughs> Made it to Tamarin Bay. A little bit further than I planned. Got about a one and a half kilometer paddle now as there's no wind in the bay. Gonna pack up the wing, put it on my back, see how that works. Good to train it, then paddle back to the beach. Close, deflate it completely, close the valve, and then put it onto my back. So, made it back. Got this contraption on my back. <laughs> kind of worked. Definitely need a bigger bag as it's a little bit tight on the shoulders. That was so much fun. Just uh, made it back, it was about two hours long. It was a cool experience, wing foiling all the way from Le Mans to Tamarin Bay. First time I've done it with this direction wind at least. And uh, yeah, amping for more. Thanks everyone for watching. There's definitely gonna be some more coming soon. The training's just begun, so stay ready and hope you guys enjoyed the video. like and subscribe and leave a comment if you enjoyed this one. <laughs>